Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here. Today we're going to be doing a video at Sagging with 55 Miners in Clash of Clans. So this gameplay is actually by PlayHard. You can go ahead and check out his channel down in the description. It should be the first link. He has really good videos. But we can see that 55 Miners are in the army camp right now. Actually, they're a little less than 55 and a few of them are actually in the clan castle. But we are going to be attacking with these. And these are super cool new troops, obviously taken from Clash Royale. And the barracks is right next to it. So you can see it has the shovels on top of it. And that was actually from a leak and many of us could actually predict that that was going to be the miner from Clash Royale. So you can see that in the barracks it's all the way at the bottom it looks like they added two more spots obviously for the baby dragon and the miner and in the barracks you can see it's a 2x7 slot now instead of a 2x6 or whatever it was before they added in the baby dragon and the miner and the miner is going to be costing 6,000 per troop and the baby dragon is 18,000 elixir. Now for the stats of a max level miner, which goes up to level 4, the damage per second is 104, the hit points is 650, the training cost is 6000 elixir, now the favorite target is any, now the damage type is single target, the targets are ground, housing space is 5, training time is 5 minutes, and the movement speed is 24. Now that caption at the bottom of the screen says, the sneaky shovelers burrow underground, pass beneath walls, and pop up right next to their targets. While underground, miners cannot be damaged and will not trigger traps, but still gain bonuses from spells so i'm super excited to see 55 miners actually attack a base i think we're going to be attacking a town hall 11 similarly to what we did with the baby dragon so this is going to be a crazy attack let's go ahead and get right into the raid so we're going to start out with 48 of them. We're going to drop a few of them on the army camp here just to see how they look and how they attack. So this is very similar to Clash Royale, obviously. And now it's going to go for the Dark Elixir. Now the Mortar, it looks like there's a little bit of a different animation for that Mortar. The Mortar Shell just looks a little bit different to me. Maybe it's just me and I haven't played the game in a while. But now the Miners are going off on some of these outside buildings. So this is super cool to see the animation, actually them burrowing under underneath some of these buildings so now a ton of miners are going to be sent in across the left side of the base it's really cool to see them actually burrow underneath all of this ground 13 percent of the base grand warden has been sent in and it looks like these are actually doing quite a bit of damage rage spells are going in and some of the miners it looks like have made it to the town hall around the town hall 36 percent and now they've died off so i wouldn't recommend an all miner strategy it looks like the town hall is about to go down very it goes the miners just went ham on this base 46 percent one star we're probably going to get the two star with the barbarian king and with the archer queen we do have some extra percentage at the top of the base tesla should not be able to take out the barbarian king at least for a while now 50 percent two star so that was a really cool raid i'm really interested to hear what you guys think of this brand new troop down below do you think it's a good idea to add in these brand new two baby drag do you think it was a good idea to add in the baby dragon and the miner to the game? And do you think they ran out of ideas? So that pretty much wraps up the video. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys want free gems, click the second link down in the description. And again, if you want to check out PlayHard's channel where I got this gameplay, it should be the first link. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.